Okay, so this video shows you how you can basically mirror your Android mobile phone to your Fire TV. Details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So, like I say, this guide shows you how you can mirror your Android-based mobile phone to your Fire TV. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, it might be that you've got photographs on your phone that you want to put on the big screen so other people in the room can see them rather than huddling around your phone. It could be that you want to play YouTube videos. It might be you want to play TikTok videos. It might be you want to just play music from your phone to your Fire TV or to your TV, should I say. So how do you do it? Well, first of all, what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go into the App Store. So let's just swipe up and we need to go into the Play Store, which is just there, that little multicolored arrow just there. So tap on that. And then once you're in the Play Store, go up to the search just at the top of the screen there, tap that. And then what we want to do is we want to type in there screen mirroring, space mirroring. OK, and then we need to put a minus and then cast to TV. So that's screen space mirroring space hyphen or a minus space cast spaced to space TV. So once you've typed that in the search, press the search button. And what we're looking for is we're looking for this green icon just here. And it should say screen mirroring cast to TV. And the company that makes it is Estella Inc. Limited. So that's Estella Inc. Limited. That's the one you're looking for. So tap on that, then tap install. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection and of course the speed of your phone as well. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. It's only a small download. There you go, as you can see on mine, it's now installing. So while that's installing, what we need to do is we need to grab our Fire Stick remote just here and press and hold the home button on the remote until this appears, then let go, and then go across to mirroring just there. Once mirroring's highlighted, middle button, okay, and then we go back to our phone, and by now, hopefully, that's installed. So let's go to open. Now, what we need to ensure is we need to ensure that we're connected to Wi-Fi as well, in actual fact, before we open that. If we're not connected to Wi-Fi, then it won't connect and we've got to be connected to the same Wi-Fi that your Fire Stick's connected to. So if this comes up, allow screen mirroring TV cast to access this device location, you've got to say allow. So tap allow, otherwise it won't work. So right, once we've done that, we want to tap screen mirror and we want to make sure that our Fire TV stick is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that's shown at the top of the app there next to the Wi-Fi sign. So if you want to do that, all you do is just press the home button on the remote control. We're going to exit out of mirroring just temporarily, wait for it to exit out. And then we need to go across to the settings cog just on the right over there, and then go down to network and make sure that what that says there matches the top of the app there, the one that it's connected to. So as you can see, mine does actually match. Let's go back, let's go back to the main screen. So just press the home button on the remote to get back to the main screen and then press and hold the home button until this menu appears. Go across to mirroring, highlight that middle button. And now what we need to do is we need to tap on screen mirror on our phone and then we need to tap connect. And then we need to find our device in here in this list. There it is, Chris's Fire TV Cube. So tap that and there you go. As you can see, it now says it's preparing to mirror the display from your device to your Chris's Fire TV Cube. Now, it might take a little while this, just be patient with it. And there you go. Once it's connected, you'll see the screen come up on the Fire TV. So let's come out of this. As you can see, there we go. We're seeing the screen on the big screen. So just to give you an example, if we go into gallery just here, 
And there you go, there's a picture that I've got on my phone now. If we want to make this bigger, let's turn the screen round. And there we go. It fills out full screen. And I can also swipe left and right to other photos as well, if I want to. Also, I've got the option here. Let's just go into, I don't know, say something like YouTube. So go into YouTube. There you go. There's my videos in there. Let's have a look at my latest video. So go into that and let's just turn the screen around. There you go. It becomes full screen. So there you go. It's playing, but it's actually playing from my phone. TV oh. stick or your Fire TV cube. And the sound is actually coming out of the TV rather than from the phone. So that means we can also play music as well. So if you've got perhaps a, uh, a favourite music app, you can play music from there as well. Um, you can basically do anything, really. Anything you can do on your phone will come up on your TV. Now, when you're ready to disconnect, all we do is let's just come out of this we we grab our remote control so sorry lost my remote and we just press and hold the home button on the remote until it says are you sure you want to exit display mirroring make sure yes is highlighted and there we go it's now exiting out and there we go, we're back to the main menu. So there you go, that guide showed you how to mirror your phone screen to your Fire TV. That's an Android based phone. Hopefully I will do a video on how to mirror an iPhone and an iPad. Incidentally, this also applies to tablets as well. If you've got a Android based tablet, which is basically a Samsung tablet, an LG tablet, a Sony tablet, anything apart from an Apple generally, um, that should work on. I hope this guide helps. And if it did, don't forget whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.